so in this video uh, we will draw the solid inclined to one plane problem okay and uh, read the question carefully so draw the projections of uh, hexagonal pyramid of side 30 mm and height 80 mm is resting on hp with one of its edges and its axis inclined to hp at 60 degrees so our problem is inclined to hp problem so that means uh, it is a inclined to hp at 60 degrees so inclined to pro hp problem so the shape of the hexagon need to draw at top view okay now uh, draw the xy line and uh, draw the hexagon at uh, below the xy like this and uh, give the points a p c d e like this and then project all the hexagon points to upwards up to x y and draw the line from x y with the height uh, 80 mm that means uh, from x y to apex 80 mm since it is a pyramid okay uh, since it is a pyramid you have to project the center line point uh, from x y to apex point okay so suppose uh, if it is a cylinder or prism uh, you need to project all the points from the x y and now here you need to project only axis center point to apex with 80 mm okay so this is the completed diagram in the first case and now coming to the second case and now you need to uh, copy the front view and place it okay place to the right side of the front view okay place like this and now uh, you have to rotate this uh, triangle uh, with respect to the uh, axis now uh, use rotate command and uh, select the objects so that means uh, select the triangle and you need to select the base point so you have to select the base point uh, uh, for this diagram uh, axis is the base point okay select the axis point and now we have to give the rotation angle so for this uh, projections of solids uh, you have to give the rotation angle is uh, 90 minus given angle so our angle is uh, inclined to hp at 60 degrees so 90 minus 60 so that is equal to 30 degrees so for if it is inclined to hp we have to give minus 30 and if it is inclined to vp we have to give plus 30 so this is the criteria for uh, giving the rotation angles in the projections of solids okay so our rotation angle is 90 minus 60 is equal to 30 so if it is uh, inclined to hp means it is minus 30 inclined to vp means plus 30 so our required rotation angle is minus 30 degrees and now project all the points to downwards for the uh, diagram and uh, the below hexagon points to right side and then uh, all the all these uh, lines will coincide and you will get uh, the compressed hexagon and uh, some apex point okay and
ओके एंड नाउ ड्रा दि हेक्सगन वित् लाइन कमेंट सो यू हेव टू जॉन आल द पॉइंट्स एंड आलो यू नीड टू जॉन टू द एपेक्स ओके सो दट मीन यू हेव टू जॉन आल पॉइंट्स टू द एपेक्स पॉइंट ऑफ एपेक्स पॉइंट मीन इट इस वो वन ओके Yes. So after completion of uh, the diagram, we have to uh, maintain some uh, different types of lines. So you need to uh, mention the dashed line. So for resting edges, so those are invisible. So you have to place some dashed line. Okay, by using the layer properties, and also you have to change the axis line. So as a axis line. Okay, so center line we have to change as a axis line by using the layer properties itself. So uh, this is the process for drawing this in the AutoCAD. For suppose. For suppose if it is uh, inclined to VP means uh, uh, the front view is hexagon and uh, the top view is a triangle, okay? And the rotation angle is uh, 90 minus 60 is plus 30 degrees to VP, okay? So you have to give rotation angle as plus 30. Why? Because it is inclined to VP. For suppose uh, if it is a prism, so if it is a prism uh, instead of triangle you will get the rectangle suppose if it is a cylinder so cylinder for the cylinder you will get circle and rectangle suppose if it is a cone you will get a circle and triangle okay so this is the process for drawing the uh, projections of solids for the inclined to one plane problem okay so i hope everyone understand this okay so read well. Thank you.